Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Yep, I um, mean it's the middle of winter. Yes, I'm in my winter gown all cozy and I want to go and make a hot breakfast and I'm going to film a full day of eating to share with you today. Um, if you followed my channel for a while, you know, I was on keto strictly for about eight or so months and now I'm kind of some days keto, some days not and just balancing it out and I just feel like a full day of keto today. So I thought I'd share my full day of eating starting with my warm breakfast. And I'm still not eating eggs for breakfast. I went nine or so straight months of eating eggs and now I'm having all kinds of other hot breakfasts. And this morning I'm sauteing mushrooms and once they're reduced I'll add a couple more ingredients to them. Okay, I've added in a couple of chopped sausages. I made sausages for dinner last night. There were a couple of leftovers and so I've chopped them up in little bite-sized pieces and I'm going to heat them through with the mushrooms. And finally, I've added a couple of teaspoons of pesto. I am loving this tomato pesto lately. I've been using it so much. Um, and just trying different things. And today I'm trying it with a bit of mushrooms and sausages. So I'm going to mix it through and heat it up. And that is my lovely warming breakfast. Oh, the flavours. I love this pesto. I've been so obsessed with it lately. Um, so I've just got pesto, mushrooms, sausages. And that is my nice big hot breakfast this morning. That was such a filling breakfast. It's almost lunchtime and I have not been hungry and I'm not really hungry at all. Um, I'm going to take the boys out, my kids out to a park for a bit. So I'm going to make a packed lunch to take out and about with us to have when I get hungry and I'll show you what I'm taking. <laughs> this is what I contend with. My boys are playing Uno in the background and giggling, having a laugh and my cat keeps walking around because when I'm preparing lunch he thinks there's tuna but there is no tuna today. So let me show you what I've packed to take to the park. I've got a whole lot of strawberries here. I'll probably share these with his boys. So I, I cut up a few more than I would normally have myself. I usually have maybe three, four. That's actually four enormous strawberries. It looks like more, but it's four. Um, so that's what I've got there and some cute convert cuts up. Cat is knocking everything over on the kitchen counter. And so for my main lunch, I have a bed of lettuce leaves, I've got about a half of an avocado sliced up, some feta, some nuts and I'm going to top it in a second with some avocado oil and salt so that's a good low carb, <laughs> the cat is busy rubbing my finger, um, that's a good low carb high fat lunch that I'm going to have out and about and so I'll catch up with you this afternoon if I have an afternoon snack. We had a lovely time out of the park and it was sunny and beautiful and now all of a sudden it is overcast and rainy. That is Melbourne for you. So I'm home now and I'm a bit chilly. So I'm making, I've made a, ho a hot chocolate. I've shared my low carb hot chocolate recipe in the past. And I always like to leave room at the top for heaps of whipped cream. Look, it's kind of <laughs> dropped over to the side over there. Oh, that's such a yummy afternoon treat. I usually have my strawberries and cream, but I had my strawberries and shared them at the, well, with the kids while out and about at the park. And so now I'm just having my whipped cream instead on top of my hot chocolate and I'll catch up with you at dinner time. And this is my dinner. I'm sauteing a whole lot of cauliflower and heaps of butter and once it's reduced I'll add a few more ingredients to make a big warming yummy cauliflower dinner. Now I've made variations on this dish oh, many many times before just depending on my mood so you can see my cauliflower starting to get golden it's softening up and now I'm gonna add a couple more ingredients. That being a tin of tuna and a generous swell of cream, just double cream, use any cream you like that's just, I'm uh, just going to mix all of that through and once it's heated I'm going to add some grated cheese as well and just mix it until the cheese is melty and you can see it's already bubbling and hot and I'll show you once I've popped it into a bowl. And it started raining again, don't know if you can hear, it's one of those cold rainy days and this big bowl of warm cauliflower. It's kind of like mac and cheese with tuna and it's just cauliflower with tuna and cheesy. It's just such a comfort warming dish. So that is my full day of eating with easy low carb meals. Thank you so much for watching, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe for more yummy inspirations just like this and leave me a comment let me know what's your favorite go-to easy low carb meal i look forward to reading your comments and we'll see you again soon bye